What's up everyone? As part of the Taken King patch for Destiny or patch 2.0, a, a new feature was added to make the gunsmith relevant or more relevant because he now sells prototype guns for you to test out, rank up, and experiment with, as well as ranking him up. For week one, he's given five weapons for you to try out and level up. I'm going to break down each of these weapons and give you easy ways to level up and comp complete the tasks necessary for each weapon. So before we do that, I'm going to note some few things too though. Uh, so the first thing of note, very first thing I'd advise you to do is do the Nightfall. You, need, you get 312 rep for every weapon you level up if you've done the Nightfall. So you'll reach rank 1, which is 1500 points, if you've done all the weapons and the Nightfall. You'll exceed it. If you skip the Nightfall, you will fall short of rank 1 for week 1. So I'd highly advise you to do it first. Next, weapons cannot be stored in your vault. You cannot turn them into the gunsmith, at least not yet. We're going to find out on the weekly reset for the gunsmith next Wednesday. Uh, if you're interested in a particular type of weapon, hang on to it if you have the space. Dismantling it gets you absolutely nothing, not even weapon parts. And because of the uncertainty associated with getting a reward for handing them in or getting more rep for handing them in, uh, if you're not sure, hold on to them for the week. If you have the space for next Wednesday, you miss out on nothing this week, but it doesn't look like you're going to get anything for it. But again, next Wednesday will tell. Now on to the weapons. The first weapon is called Amelon Test FR1. It's a void fusion rifle. The charge rate seems slow, but it hits quite hard, and it, it looks nice, and it really sounds nice when you shoot this thing. To level it up, you're going to need 10 crucible kills. I'd highly advise you to run control or rumble, and I'll give you the reasons why. Rumble will get you more and much faster opportunities to get kills, but of course the issue being that you can be attacked and flanked and shot at from all sorts of different angles, so it might prove to be frustrating depending on the lobby you're in. If you play control, you'll have more opportunities with the opponent distracted by your teammates or taking a flag, but again because you have, more, because you have teammates, they might be taking kills away from you. So choose whatever mode you feel is going to best suit you getting kills and go at it. The second weapon is called the Hockey Test A, the Kinetic Pulse Rifle. You're going to need to make 10 to 20 precision shots to level up this weapon. The reason why I say 10 to 20 is I couldn't remember if it levels up 10% per kill, which would be 10, or 5% per kill, which would be 20. I do not remember. 10 to 20, easy. The way to do it, I did, well, the way I did it was I went to patrol, Earth Patrol, and I was killing people in the divide while I was waiting for a public event. So you can quite easily just go to areas, kill things with precision shots while you're waiting for public events. Or if you want to get it done as quick as possible, you can go to the Siege of the War Mine, the Dark Beyond, or other missions with plenty of weak, continuous enemies charging at you. It's super easy. What I really like about this weapon, too, are the perks. It changes your radar so that enemies are easier to detect when they're on low health and on your actual radar. You'll see it, it's more defined, like the slits are smaller, the red slits. Uh, and, you'll, and it highlights where planetary materials and chests are after you get a kill. It's pretty sweet. It's super useful if you don't want to waste marks on planetary materials post-patch. The only downside being to this weapon is it kicks quite a bit. So maybe if it was upgraded, if it had stability, it'd be even better. The third weapon is called the Suros TSR-10. It's a void rocket launcher. You're going to have to get 10 kills against high-ranking high enemies, meaning majors or yellow bar enemies. Now, the way I did this with relatively quickly was to head to Earth Patrol, head to the building right to the left to where you spawn that takes you underground, and shoot the three hive that spawn, jump back up the stairs or toward the side. They'll spawn again, repeat the process. You need to get 10 kills. You might have to use a synthesis because you will probably burn through ammo pretty quickly. And so this was by far my least favorite weapon to level up, but it's not a difficult quest. The fourth weapon is called the Hockey Test A, or the Solar Sniper Rifle. For this one, you're going to have to get double kills, or two kills in rapid succession, not two kills with one round because there's no armor penetrating rounds that allow you to do that. So it's two in quick succession. Uh, Earth Patrols while waiting for public events was an extremely quick and easy way to do it, but like I said earlier, you can choose like Siege of the War Mind or other missions where there's plenty of enemies charging you. I really like the look and feel of this weapon. It's super agile, it's super snappy, the scope is nice, it looks nice, it sounds good. I really hope this sniper rifle becomes a mainstay in some sort of later, or at least there's some sort of legendary equivalent down the road. It's a nice weapon. The fifth and last mention 
weapon, weapon to mention, is called Amlon Test RR1. It's an arc sniper rifle. For this one, you have to get 10 kills using a sniper rifle in the Crucible to level it up. The easiest way to me, is, for me at least, was to head to control. People like to hug perimeters, so stick to the perimeters so that you minimize people and minimize angles of attack towards you, and just wait out and for your targets to head your way. If you find yourself all by yourself, chances are the spawns have flipped, so head closer to where your teammates for safety and numbers. This one may be the most difficult if you're not very experienced sniping, and to add to that, there's new Crucible maps that have brought forth a massive lack of familiarity for all players, so you're not sure of where the flags are, your flank angles are, your spawn points are, so there is that era of unfamiliarity, but again, just stick to perimeters, look for long sight lines, and wait for the enemy to charge to you, and eventually you will add up those 10 kills. Aim for the head, of course, not that difficult. Overall, I found this new addition to be a ton of fun, and it actually, I look forward to doing it each week, hopefully, if there's, if weapons are like this. Uh, I'll report on next week's weapons as well and gives you, give you tips on how to do so and update anything that comes with a weekly update that none of us have seen yet. Uh, and this, actually, on the last point, if this is Bungie's way of upgrading weapons in the future or giving a test of it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. See you later, everyone.